he would laugh and he would have fun and his smile and spirit came through the radio every time he called. And we didn't know the little Mo was beset by such terrible health complications. We didn't know that he was spending most of his life in and out of hospitals because when he would call us, he was laughing and happy and wanted to talk Ravens and Orioles and everything else in sports. And when I think about Little Mo's legacy here on Earth in 14 years, Little Mo did something so incredibly powerful and didn't need more than 14 years to do it. He left his mark of positivity, and that positivity is a choice. Last night, I got the text from Jeremy Kahn from 105.7 The Fan in Baltimore, who is a close family friend of Little Mo's and has spent many, many weeks and many, many months by Little Mo, playing video games with Mo, and really got very, very close to that family. And he was so many of our conduit to Little Mo's life. And Jeremy texted me and... I was outside, and I kind of sat there stunned a little bit. And I didn't know how to process it, even though I knew this day was probably coming. And I thought about my trip to Baltimore a month ago to spend time with Mo, and I started crying. That deep, catch-your-breath type of sobbing that comes with real true loss. And it's always going to be hard for me to not have Mo here to hear that, to hear that joy, to hear that laughter, to hear that happiness. It's always going to be hard for me to know that we won't get that live on the radio again. But in the middle of this wave of sadness that I had, I looked above my house, and I'm not joking, there was the most brilliant sunset and it was this impeccably beautiful orange. And I looked at it, and it was Orioles orange. It was Orioles orange. I know it. I'm looking at it going, you got to be kidding me. And there was this cloud right above my house that was just lit up bright orange. And immediately, kind of this wave of sobbing passed through me, and I just looked up and said, Mo's always going to be here. Everywhere I look, I'm going to see Mo. I know it. Because little Mo, what he taught me and what he taught us is within us forever. Little Mo taught me, and I think taught many people, that happiness is not about what you acquire or about your circumstances in life. It is not about what you may think you're trying to, to chase down. Happiness is inside of you, no matter what that situation is. Little Mo was dealt one of the most difficult hands that anybody could be dealt. And he was only 14 years old, not with a ton of experience, walking through this world, learning all these lessons. He just knew it. He just had it. And every day he woke up, he made a choice that his situation didn't define his happiness. He defined it. When I went down to Baltimore last month, I asked little Mo about this attitude, this remarkable spirit and energy and light that just, it just shone so brightly out of him with everything that he did. Here is what little Mo told me about his positivity. Everybody... Everybody loves you so much. Why do you think everybody loves you so much? I think it's just because of my attitude. I always stay positive. I think that's the reason why. <laughs> do you have to try to stay positive, or are you just naturally a positive guy? I try to stay as positive as I can, because sometimes, I, sometimes I'm not as positive as I usually am. So I just stay as positive as I can, and just I just... Think positive, and it's not it's not that hard just to think positive. How'd you learn that? I uh, just I I guess I just just it just came to me. I guess I just 
just thought about it myself, and um, it just came to me, and I just thought of, just think positive, and everything will be fine. It came to him naturally, but he's teaching us. He's teaching us. He taught me, and I think he touched a lot of you guys the same way, and when I see the Ravens tweet out, thank you, Mo, for everything. The Baltimore Ravens tweeting out, thank you, Mo, for everything. It's for that. It's for the lesson. Thinking positive. It does great things. Thinking positive, being positive, and acting positive changes the world. Little Mo was 14 years old and inducted into the Orioles Hall of Fame. The Ravens are tweeting about, thank you to Mo for everything. What is that? That's not that he set out to be famous. It's not like he set out to change the world, but he did. Because every single day, little Mo knew. He knew. He had the secret. And I love him dearly. And I'll never forget him. And his lesson walks with me forever. And that is, your circumstances do not define your happiness. You do. R.I.P. Mo, you are with us always. I promise.